Welcome to Zotero, working with groups. Groups might be useful to you if you have collaborators on your project or if you need to share your resources with your professor or your advisor. To create your group, go to Zotero.org and click Login. Log in to Zotero and then click on Groups. Create a new group, give your group a name, and choose whether you want it to be a public open membership, public closed membership, or private membership. Mostly you're probably going to want to use private membership. This means that only you and other members of your group can see what you've added to this group. It's also the best way for syncing PDFs online. Once you create the group you'll be given another chance to look over the settings and make sure that it is the way you want it to be. Now, back in your Zotero library, sync your library. Your new group should appear here under Group Libraries. Now you'll be able to start collecting items into your group library just as normal. To add members to your library, go back to Zotero.org, click Member Settings, and then down here there's a link that says Send More Invitations. This is where you put in your group members' email addresses and click Invite. They'll be able to join your group and sync all of the items to their Zotero libraries. When you're working in Zotero groups, there are two important tips to keep in mind. It's a very good idea to always have an inbox folder. This is where you'll put all of your new items until they've been cleaned and sorted. It's also incredibly useful to have a standalone note to share processes and vocabulary. For example, you may want to list all of the tags and their definitions. It's also a very good habit to get into. Whenever you create a new folder, create a standalone note to say what sorts of things will go into that folder. That way nobody in your group will be confused or lost. And as always, we're here to help. Contact us!